Imagine a game that has the background aesthetic art look of Yoshi's Island. The game mechanic of any platformer like Mario, but designed in a way as a 2D fighting game that comes fitted with your favorites like your auto combos and your air combos. This is a game that will not only revive your nostalgia for the classics like Yoshi Islands and Mario, but also give you a new flair, say like you've never tried a fighting game ever in your entire life, this will feel like you're fighting one. A fighting game within a platform. A game inspired from Smash Bros and Yoshi's Island. A hand drawn platformer where you punch frogs. Pure nostalgic fun. That is just the beginning of the game. The true shine of the game, in my opinion, is the later portion of the game. After the platforming and the bosses and the minions is the true platforming section that really showed me how much of a headache I've experienced in platforming. A section that took me completely by surprise because I was totally unprepared for it through my entire journey of the first section of the game where I thought, okay, this is a cute game, something cute to enjoy, nothing challenging, nothing really too hard about it until I get to this section. I've died at least 30 times just getting to the first half of this section before reaching the first checkpoint to finally beat this section. And this was such a headache i don't know how many times I, I just wanted to say man why am i trying so hard for a demo but somehow i just could not give up i couldn't i couldn't let this game beat me and and in that frustration i found that love i found the love for this game the klein drop is the name of the game but it should really be called gem drop because i truly believe that this game is or will be an underrated gem for a platformer genre but if they could improve just a bit more on the minions and boss fights it would shoot right up but check out the demo for yourself am i just yapping or, or do you also think that this game could be a potential gem 